we're going to be dealing with uh, the subject matter of liability and warranty disclaimer. You'll see this on a lot of things when you're going on the internet. Uh, there'll be various sites you may be searching through and they may have this pop up, especially within real estate sales. Uh, but uh, we're just going to uh, basically talk about this regarding the birth certificate and the, uh, the system does the actual registry system uh, warranty what's on the record? Well, when we were, I know some people have actually marked down, thumbs down on the authentication videos I did. Uh, and I think it's because they're still bothered. They thought they were getting some great document that was authenticating the record that gave them some go ahead. Um, the reason why the registrars are outside the frame on these is because um, they're not authenticating the contents of the document. Uh, they can't do that um, because of the very fact is that there's problems in the contents of the document that uh, shouldn't be there. And uh, therefore, uh, because there's an inducement to commit uh, or induce a fraud um, that uh, is going to be the uh, only can only be uh, really discovered and, and basically uh, brought to an end by the elective party who is going to make a choice which side they're going to be on, whether they're going to be on the spiritual side or the legal side, uh, the Registrar General kind of stays outside almost like a referee. So when we're talking about warranty and, and liability and a disclaimer, it's interesting that they've already really told you that when they wouldn't authenticate the contents of these uh, birth record documents. Uh, why is it that they wouldn't be on the inside of the frame? Well, if they were certifying the inside of it, um, then they'd be standing beside it. But interestingly, um, the uh, birth certificate, little wallet size, money size, short form that's issued in Ontario, uh, it, uh, you know, it, they won't authenticate that either. They say it's mainly because it's so small that they won't actually find a way. They could have made it bigger, I guess. I mean, they made the long form pretty big. Um, but they, they decide that they're not going to uh, authenticate that. But uh, there must be a problem with that, too. Um, if they won't authenticate the birth certificate and they won't authenticate uh, the actual contents of the, uh, of the statement of birth record the parents filled out, then there seems to be this hot potato of liability uh, going on. Who's actually liable? Well, certainly the legal system would have to be liable for itself, and the ones who run it, of course, are the lawyers. So the lawyers would be liable to anything that's incurred in the way of debt. Um, so when we look at this liability and warranty uh, disclaimer, remember you need liability to lie. So we're going to ensure everybody that they can lie in the fiction world because fiction's a lie and there's a risk in that. Truth doesn't have any risk because it's got full assurance of God because it comes from truth. In the world of the legal twist of the factitious world of the lawyers, um, we're dealing with risk in fiction because you're walking around with a problem um, in a title that's not yours and you're operating uh, with something, of course, uh, that is make-believe. So they're ensuring the, the pretenders of the title who basically are the cause of how they issue legal tender. And so when we read, I kind of changed up a liability and warranty disclaimer that I found on the net and kind of inserted what I would do if I was sitting as the referee for the Registrar General's office. So I just basically worded it in this manner. The information contained on a certified photostatic print of a record titled Statement of Birth is based in whole or in part on information that was provided by the legal informants as seen on the above noted instrument and are responsible for its content and accuracy. The Office of the Registrar General reproduces and distributes the statement of birth and birth certificate as a service to assumptive legal members who claim public interest and entitlement to receive legal documents and assumes no responsibility for any document's completeness or accuracy. I can only see it being this way because you're acting as the surety, you're the only one that can warranty it. Um, there doesn't seem to be anybody taking responsibility for the beginning of how these instruments have come about. So it's almost like every trace of every document that begins it from the uh, attending doctor who only puts down 
a surname dealing with uh, the mother um, of the child, and then basically you will see later that the parents uh, fill in the next document uh, that puts in privacy with public, and then you create, you've create you created two, now it's a form two. Uh, it appears you only formed one, and then you went to a form two, um, and then eventually the social insurance becomes the form three, possibly, in this. So it's, uh, you know, almost along the line of, uh, uh, in, a, in a legal, twisted, occult sense, the father is the state, or the parent in the legal, the provinces are the sons, and then you have the unholy spirit of the social insurance or social security program, um, which seems to be the powerhouse of the whole surety ship that says we're all going to go down together. We're all in this together. Well, I don't think I want to be involved in this anymore. Okay, so that's the direction of these videos. It's to get out, not to remain in. Uh, if you want to remain in, and you want to fight, and you want to chase something down that's legal, don't let me stand in the way of your success, because these videos are directed towards spiritual relief and coming out. So this is a divorcing from being privately uh, touching something that's unclean and taking greed and prosperity and any form of gain from it. Uh, you will actually, in a, in a sense, uh, be following scripture where you'll be denying yourself, okay, by removing what is yours out of there. Um, so you're no longer um, relying on the body, you're living in the spirit of truth. And so in the world of those who remain in, their their spirit is, is working heavily for the body corporate or something that represents uh, death and sin. Um, someone who only lives in a materialistic state. Someone who's not living in the truth of God. So uh, we know that uh, uh, this is going to be a very, very hard uh, you know, cleanse for a lot of people to do. It takes, it takes time and effort, and, and it's going to take direction uh, to be reading where truth is found, which is in the Bible. Um, even though I know that we do a lot of reference to the law books, it's because I know that's where most people's two feet are positioned right now. And so I, I felt it better to go with that direction. Um, but as time goes on, uh, I want to, uh, you know, place the videos more down the, uh, uh, the spiritual uh, message solution. But people need to know how to get their, um, their, their feet grounded in truth uh, in order to be able to walk that and know how they're going to deal with uh, what they've made themselves a surety uh, for. So you do not wait for the government to come to you on this. Um, it's going to require an act on your part to do this. Um, and, and until you do that, uh, you're just going to be walking around uh, in the same position as anybody else in that collective society. So uh, anyways, uh, take again the time, review the video slowly, and I'm sure that you'll, you'll see the, uh, the truth uh, coming out.